If you're struggling with passing and tired of throwing interceptions, you've come to the right video. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about becoming a better passer in Madden. The first thing you need to practice is climbing the pocket and setting your feet before you throw the ball. This is the most important thing about passing. You want to get in practice mode, run against random defense, just practice inching up in the pocket with your left joystick and setting your feet before you throw. And if you've got rushing lanes open, you can take advantage of those by becoming a good pocket passer. Again, you want to make sure you're standing tall, you're setting your feet, and this is going to make your passes accurate, and it's going to create less distance between you and the receiver. Now, if you do get block shedded and get sacked, it's okay. You're not going to lose as many yards when you're standing tall in the pocket, but when you start drifting back like this, this is what you don't want to do because this is going to cause you to get sacked a lot more. It's going to cause a defense to block shed quicker. You're going to be throwing off your back foot when you're trying to get rid of the ball, which is going to let the ball hang up in the air more and give the defense more time to close out. You do not want to ever be moving backwards or to the side too often when you're passing because as you can see, it's just a lot harder to complete passes, get accurate passes. You never get your feet set. This is not what you want to do. You want to climb the pocket, stand tall, and deliver missiles. And really quickly, if you're enjoying this video and you want to stay up to date with all the best and latest Madden tips all year long to improve your game, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss out on any of these important videos when they drop. The next thing you need to know is pass leading. You do this by using the left joystick. Now, right here, we're leading the ball all the way to the right because we want to make sure we're getting it in front of the receiver and not letting the defender have a chance at the ball. So we're pressing the receiver's icon to bullet pass to him, but we're also pressing the left joystick all the way to the right. Right, and this makes a difference between completing the pass and giving the defender that small window to make a play on it. Now here we're pass leading all the way to the left because we're throwing to the RB receiver and that's a very tight window. Now watch in this clip, we're not going to pass lead. We're just going to throw a regular lead and it gets swatted by the DB. That's the small window that you have. You always want to be leading away from the defender and even notice me, I'm doing some bad habits right here. I'm drifting back with my QB that's making the pass tougher on me because even me, someone that knows to climb the pocket, sometimes I fall back into old habits habits and it's natural to want to drift back but you see when I stand tall in the pocket how much quicker that ball gets there you always want to be leading away from the defender with your left joystick now there is a more advanced way to free form pass with skill based passing but we'll cover that at the end of the video I also want to mention really quickly that I do have a patreon page where I break down the most advanced Madden tips and strategies every week to help you dominate your online opponents after you've learned all the basics and you want to take your game to an even higher level and check out my ebooks and most advanced tips make sure to check out the link below in the pinned comment the next step is learning good route combinations so what i like to do is take a formation where three receivers are bunched up on one side so right here on gun bunch they're all bunched up on the right here really quickly i'm going to audible into a bunch tight end just to show you a different formation it's a slightly different alignment but you can see we have three receiving options bunched up on the left really close to each other now what you want to do is find a play where the middle receiver is on a corner and then the inside receiving option is on a flat and then what you do from there is you take the most outside receiver which is the b receiver in our case and you want to put him on a streak you can do this with your hot routes by pressing wire triangle selecting his icon and then selecting up on the left stick now if you're in the middle of the field or if the bunch receivers are facing the wide side of the field you want to motion out the streak you want to put your cursor on the b receiver which you use the b or circle button to get this on him and then you press the d-pad in this case to the right we want to motion him to the sideline because that's going to take the deep cornerback in any zone and this should free up the corner route and sometimes even the flat route against any type of zone coverage you might face some are going to defend this better than others, but typically you can see we have the flat open, but we also have the corner route wide open as well. Here in this clip, we're going to do the same thing again, and we're going to show you that you can hit the flat route underneath. It's going to be a little bit less yardage, but if they're not making adjustments, usually like a stock cover three, which we're going against right here, the curl flat zone is kind of playing in no man's land, but you can adjust him to play higher. You can adjust him to play lower, and that's going to free up one of your guys. Now here, we're on the short side of the field. Notice the ball's on the right hash and our bunch receivers are also on the right hash. So in this case, we don't have to motion when the bunch is on the short side of the field because outside corner is going to take the streak since we're so close to the sideline. And again, if your flat's open, you can take that as well. This is a very good concept versus zone. Here, we're going to show the bunch look on the other side. We're in bunch tight end just to show you it works the same. As long as you have three receivers bunched up close, we're going to motion out the streak because we are on the wide side of the field right here. We need to run that cornerback off and you can see we have the flat open we also have the corner open this is a very good zone busting combination even if they adjust their zones usually one of the corner or the flat will be open here's another good combo you want to look at verticals out of a trip set which you have three receivers on one side of the field but they're more spread out in this case so trips tight end 
Trey Y flex against a cover three you're gonna have the seam open like that to deliver a pass right up the middle against a cover two you can throw it to the outside between the corner and the safety this is another good zone busting combo and lastly you want to look at the mesh combo this is in every playbook as well usually it's in bunch formations or tight formations like this where you have two meshing drag routes underneath these routes do a good job at beating man but they also do a good job at getting underneath zones if the defense does not adjust it's one of the best combinations in real life but also in Madden because like I said man defense these mesh routes are going to get open zone if they don't adjust they're going to get open underneath as well now let's talk about blocking a lot of people will like to send six man blitzes at you and if you don't block anybody you're going to get hit extremely quick just like this blocking the running back can solve this a good bit of the time you press wire triangle select the running backs icon and then you press the right trigger or the r2 button to block him you see now he picks up the blitzer it gives us time to stand in the pocket set our feet and deliver a pass now sometimes the running back might not pick him up because the running back dumbs out but if they're blitzing six guys consistently you want to leave somebody in there to help block so that you can have time and deliver these passes for big yards the next thing you need to learn is taking your check downs things like flat routes and drags this is what separates good players from great players good players will take their check down when it's there and not just wait for the deep route especially with pass rush being a lot better now you want to take these quick routes yes we want to hit deep routes like this all the time because they provide big yards and it's fine to take those sometimes but you don't want to be waiting on those every play if you see you have a flat open for four to five yards you take it immediately if you see your drag is open for four to five yards you take it immediately because a lot of times you get run after catch opportunities like this but either way four to five yards is still going to allow you to keep moving the chains consistently and not getting sacked again you can use your halfback as a check down as well it works really good the next thing you need to do is know how to throw the ball away especially if you're outside of the pocket if you feel like nothing's open don't take sacks you want to take your right joystick and you want to click it in that's going to allow you to throw the ball away outside of the pocket you're going to be safer because you won't get intentional grounding now a pro tip here is even in the pocket you can throw the ball away and avoid a grounding penalty as long as you have one route that's near the sideline they will always throw the ball away near this route and you will not get intentional grounding now if you're on new gen we have to talk about skill based passing now first you want to go to your options then you want to go to game options in your settings menu and you want to scroll down now first you have passing type you have placement and then you have something called placement and accuracy you probably should use placement and accuracy mine i've just left it on placement and then you have classic passing which will completely turn off all of the new passing systems so you don't want to do that you want to use placement or placement and accuracy one of the two now for your free form distance you've got near you've got far which is probably the best setting and then you've got no max distance which literally allows you to free form anywhere on the field but near is where you want to start as a beginner and that's kind of where i've left mine even because it really makes it to where it's hard to overthrow pass is you're never going to put it too far away from the receiver far is where you're going to graduate to once you get better with this because it gives you those couple extra yards to really lead the receiver but when you're starting just start on near and as far as speed i have mine on eight but anything between seven and ten i find to be pretty good so let's look at some free form passing so right here we're running a fade to adams it's man press we have him beat by a step we're trying to throw it over him but we can't quite get it there even if we try to lob it usually the db is able to get up and swat the ball now if we free form it we can take advantage of inside leverage and we can lead this ball to where only he can get it and now it's a touchdown now to lead the ball you have to hold down the left trigger or the l2 button while you're also pressing his icon and then you use the left joystick to pass lead it and put it anywhere you want here we're going to show a fade versus a cover two so we're trying to throw this with a regular pass lead and you see the safety is able to get his hands on it now with free forming i'm holding the left trigger the b button and i'm pushing the left joystick to the right all at the same time and you see we're able to put it over his outside shoulder and the safety is not able to get it again left trigger b button left joystick to the right and we just drop it right in over the safety where he can't touch it here's going to be another example a corner route versus man we got steps on him but if we just lead this with a regular pass lead the db can undercut it and swat it like he just did now we're going to actually free form this and put it more over the top we're putting it straight over the top of the db and the receiver with left trigger y button and then we're going all the way up on the left stick to drop it over his head now that you've got the passing basics down you're about halfway there now you need the rest of the game's overall tips to really take your game to the next level and you could check that out in this video right here on the screen.